during slavery or our slave master took away our history, our heritage, our culture, and they taught us we are Grenadians. But we are not Grenadians. We are the Israelites, the real Jews, right? So we're going to go into the scriptures and show you that. So now we're going into the prophecies of Deuteronomy 28. So give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Huh? We're going into the scripture to show that we are the Israelites, that we are the chosen people of God. So we're going to Deuteronomy to show that God is speaking to the children of Israel. So give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1, and I'm going to show you the curses after identifying that we are the, the, the children of Israel based on the curses of slavery. Because it was prophesied that slavery would happen to only one race of people as an entire race. All right, so give me that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So this is Moses speaking to the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt under the hand of Pharaoh, right? Give me 28 and 5, um, 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments. So the Bible tells you, if we obey God and do his commandments, what is going to happen? To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high, above all nations of the earth. So we were supposed to be the ruling nation of, upon the earth, right? Because the promise was made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that they will rule the entire earth and all, all, all nations of the earth will be blessed through them, right? But because our forefathers started breaking God's commandment, then he sent curses upon us, which was the curses of slavery. Our sons and daughters were taken from us and sold unto other races. We were scattered through the four corners of the earth on cargo slave ships. All these things is written in the Bible. So we're going to go through some of the curses to show you that. Give me verse 32. Deuteronomy 28 verse 32. Ah. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So you see what the Bible says? Our sons and daughters were taken away from us and sold to another race of people. Right? That only happened to all people as an entire race. Right? And I, I shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. Because when our children were taken away and sold to the slave master, we had no power. Our foremothers cried. If you watch a movie like 12 years of slaves are rude, our foremothers begged the slave master to bring back the children. But we couldn't get back our children, right? And we went through not only the transatlantic slave trade, but the trans Saharan slave trade, where the Arabs had us all forefathers in slavery, right? So that was that predated the transatlantic slave trade. So now you see right here, look at the woman and the child, look at the man here, and look at the slave master selling all forefathers. So that's why you're talking about the children was taken away and sold to another race of people, right? Give me 41. Deuteronomy 28 verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. So now you say in slavery we'll have children, but we'll not enjoy our children. Watch why. For they shall go into captivity. Because the children was taken, as soon as they was able to walk, they was taken and put in a plantation on a cotton field. Sugarcane plantation. All children had to walk hard bondage just as the adults. So it's showing us that these are the causes that would happen to only one race of people identifying that these are the people of God. Because they say if they broke the commandments, curses was going to come upon them. Right? Give me 48. Let me show you something. Deuteronomy 28 was 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So we had to serve the slave master for food. We had to serve them and we got scraps. And in toss for the water, we had to serve the slave master. And in nakedness, for the clothes on our back, we had to serve and give us hand me down. And in want of all things, anything we wanted, we had to do what the slave master wanted on the plantation, read. Really. And he, and he, he, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So shackles and chains is written in the Holy Bible. Prophesied to happen to only one race of people, the children of Israel. Proving what? That the children of the slave trade, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that were scattered through the four corners of the earth in slavery are the children of Israel. So the people over in the land of Israel are liars. They are not the real Jews. These so-called Jewish people, they are not the real Jews. And even the Arabs over there are not the real people of the land. They was brought into the land in 1948 with the Belfort de Declaration. Right? Because we all people, give me that, um, Luke um, 21. Because all forefathers, was scattered when Jerusalem was destroyed in 70 AD. When Titus and Vespasian came and destroyed Jerusalem, all forefathers was, was forced to flee into Egypt and neighboring islands and neighboring lands. So they went to the west coast of Africa and settled there. So give me that. Let me show you that. 
the Jerusalem is destroyed and everybody had to flee Jerusalem to escape the Romans. Luke chapter 21 verse 24 and they shall fall by the edge of the sword. So the real Jews was going to fall by the edge of the sword in 70 AD and shall be led away captive and led away what? Captive and all forefathers the real Jews are led away as slaves into all nations. Into all nations so we must get scattered through the four corners of the earth in slavery. Read. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles uh -huh. until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So the Bible lets us know that the real Jews would not be in Jerusalem in the last days and the Gentiles, these so-called Jewish people and these so-called Palestinians, they are in our land That's because right. we are serving slavery through the four corners of the earth. We are back on the earth teaching all people the truth according to the Bible. For far too long we have been taught lies from slavery come up by our oppressors the slave master. So we are now coming out here and show our people our true history that we are the real Jews. Right? And the people over in the land of Israel are imposters. Give me Revelation 2 and 9. Let me show you that. Because the Bible shows that the so-called Jewish man over in Israel is an imposter, he's a liar. They took our, his, our history and our heritage. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. Uh -huh. I know thy work. So God is saying he knows our work. And tribulation. Uh -huh. And poverty. Because the real Jews, black people, are the most impoverished people on the earth. Anywhere you go, you find black people in the ghettos and the slums. We are the poorest people on the earth. Read. I know thy works and thy tribulation and poverty. Read. But thou art rich. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. I know the blasphemy. So God is saying he knows the lies of them which say they are Jews. So the Jewish man, he says that you, but he's not a real Jew by blood, right? And are not, uh -huh. but are the synagogue of Satan. So God call them the synagogue of Satan, meaning the house of the devil. These people over in the land of Israel are not the real Jews. You, black man, are the real Jews. Bring it you, out. black woman, you are the real Jews. But the Bible prophesied that we are going to be taken out of our land and put into slavery for over 400 years. That is Bible prophecy. So we are out here teaching our people that you are in the land of your enemies and the people over there are liars. That is why they can never have peace in that land. Let me hear you. You have a question. Let me ask you something. What about me? Are you talking about Jews and Muslims? Either Muslims. Right. We believe in humanity. Right? right now, the people in Palestine are suffering from people of Israel, right? right? The, the, the Jewish man, white Jewish man, man okay. right? If we look at the real Jewish who support in the Palestinian people, they are fighting against Israel. Right. So what you find in Israel, what they are doing, it is good or not for against humanity, right? So what 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 the people the white man is doing is what you're supposed to do to kill and to destroy, right? And that is what he's doing right now, and it's not good. We understand that because the the social the media painting Israel as the as a victim when actually Israel is the aggressor right so we understand that but what we say is the reason why all these things is happening is because the true people of that land is not there okay, okay. The true, the true my children born here. Right. But if I do something wrong, which is not right against the Grenada, okay? So that means I don't have right to be control of people here. Right. If you look right. at the Grenada, how is fine to find people who came? They yeah, meet yeah. people they here. People come and, they and, meet and, they and, meet people here. Right. If you look at the real Grenadian, which is which is owned by black owned people. by owned by black people. Right. But even before that, owned by um Europe, okay. I understand what I'm saying. Because the Palestinians, the Caribs, and the Caribs, and things. Right. So the original land belongs to Caribs. So if Caribs come and decide, okay, we 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 are Grenadian. I understand what I'm saying. So if you look at the Caribs, all people as well. The people, the the policy of white people, the policy of white people, they believe, they believe like. To to own it. Listen, we understand that the Palestinians was there before the white man came. Because when the white man came in, the Palestinians welcomed them. But the same white man turned against the Palestinians. All this was prophesied in the Bible. That they would come and take our land and divide it. Give me that Joel tree. Let me show you something. Joel tree. The real people for Israel are what? Look at that thing. You are the real Israelite. You are a real Jew. That's what we're going to read here, that the, the oppressors took our land and they parted it. And that is why you have war in the earth today, because both of them fighting over our land that is not there, so they can never have peace on earth. Watch out. Hey, 
the book well, well, come, come. The oh, book please. of Joel, chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So God in the last days is going to bring all captivity back. Judah and Israel, meaning the blacks is Judah, and the native Indians and uh, Hispanics are Israel. Because hold on, the, 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 the tribes were split into two kingdoms. Northern and Southern Kingdom. So God is going to bring our captivity. When Christ comes, He's gathering all His people. And here's what He's going to do. I will also gather all nations and bring them down to the into the Valley of Jehoshaphat. The Valley of Jehoshaphat is in the Middle East. So that is where World War Three is going to start. Read. I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. Whom they have scattered among the nations. So here, yeah, God is going to plead for us because the other nation took us and scattered us to the four corners of the earth in slavery. Because the Bible shows that only the Israelites is going to go into hard bondage and slavery, scattered to the four corners of the earth. Hold on. The, the, the Israeli man never went into slavery as an entire race to the four corners of the earth. So God is telling us that we are going to be scattered among the nations. Read. Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. So they divide the land between the Israeli and the Palestinians. Because that land belongs to us, the children of the slave trade. That's right. And they have cast lots for my people. And now he said they cast lots. Where is that? They cast lots for our people. Meaning they sold our people on auction slave blocks. That is what the Bible is letting us know. So they cast lots for God's people, read. Really. And have given a boy for a girl. So they made all men into breeders, so they would only breed them for slaves. Read. Really. And sold a girl for wine. And they sold our women for wine. The Arabs did that, and the white man did that. That is showing the prophecy. Hold on, I'm going to finish that. That day, my dream. Uh -huh. Yeah, and what have ye to do with me? Oh, Tyre and Zion. Tyre and Zion is African nations. Hold on. And all the coast of Palestine. And Palestine is the Palestinians. So the Palestinians, hold on. The Palestinians also had a hand in our slavery. That is why God is judging them today and the white man is slaughtering them. So both of them had a hand in our slavery. Let, let me ask continue you something. Continue. 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 I, want, I, want, I want to know. We need like a blind and be a black compact. So God is saying, so I want to pay back by taking my people in slavery. What's that? And if ye recompense me uh -huh. swiftly and speedily, we go and return your recompense upon your own So that is what happened. God is judging them. So that is why the white man is so like and like like and and what the right what now. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. 